uh, I made her famous. Is that a... Uh, is, is, so did you say that? Yes, it might have happened. That infamous phone call between Kanye West and Taylor Swift was just leaked in its entirety, and turns out Taylor was telling the truth. But before I get into the details, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any updates. Okay, so remember that edited snippet of a private phone conversation between Kanye and Taylor that Kim Kardashian leaked in order to prove Taylor was a liar? And then the world immediately turned on her and she disappeared for a year to get away from the hate? Well, it turns out that that snippet was taken out of context and Taylor was in fact not a liar at all. As we all remember, back when Kanye first released his track Famous, it was shortly after him and Taylor had made amends. But the moment that that song was released and Taylor heard the lyrics, she was not happy. She made it clear on social media that she did not approve of the song and was very disappointed. The song literally says that Kanye made Taylor famous while referring to her as a bitch. But of course, because there's a line where he addresses her by name, everyone thought that that is what made Taylor upset. Which, in case you somehow forgot, the lyric was, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Well, after Taylor publicly shared her disapproval of the song, as we all remember, Kim Kardashian then took it upon herself to leak the illegally recorded snippet of the phone call where Taylor and Kanye talked about the song. And in Kim's snippet, it shows Taylor approving of the line about her and Kanye having sex. Kim then called her a snake and basically got the entire internet to turn on Taylor. Though Taylor did eventually respond to all of this via social media, revealing that she was not okay being called that bitch, and also said that she had never heard the song, even though Kanye had promised to play it for her, but never did. She only approved of that one line. Unfortunately, that response did not sit well with the internet, and people continued to call Taylor a liar and say that she was just playing victim and trying to save herself after being exposed. Well, just like Taylor sang about in her song, Look What You Made Me Do, karma did come back for Kanye and Kim because that full unedited phone call got leaked and proved that Taylor was not lying at all. So in the 20 minute long clip, we hear Kanye first telling Taylor about how he wants her to be the one to tweet out his upcoming song and that's why he's calling her in the first place. He tells her that he wants her to be the one to do it because there's a very controversial line about her in it. In the recording, Taylor seems hesitant and asks if it's going to be mean, but eventually Kanye reveals the line, which was originally, I feel like Taylor Swift might owe me sex. From there, Taylor just laughed and said that that's not mean and shared what her worries were when he started building up how controversial it was. I'm glad it's not mean, though. It doesn't feel mean, but like, oh my God, the build-up you gave it, I thought it was going to be like that stupid, dumb bitch. Yes, that is Taylor Swift explicitly telling Kanye that she didn't want it to be mean and used being called that stupid dumb bitch as an example of that. So I'm guessing even just being called that bitch wasn't something Taylor would have been particularly fond of. On top of that, she made it clear that she didn't want it to be mean and sounded so relieved when she thought it wasn't going to be. Now, obviously, there's more to that conversation that you can totally check out online for your listening pleasure, but let's get to some Twitter reactions to this monumental day. First of all, Kanye West is over party and Taylor told the truth were both trending on Twitter. And as for what people were saying, well, one user wrote, quote, Kim Kardashian when her manager tells her to open Twitter with this video. <gasps> Another user wrote, Kanye sounds like such a narcissist during that phone call. Others reminded everyone of the horrible music video that Kanye put out with the song that featured a bunch of wax figures of celebrities, including Taylor, completely naked in a bed with him. And lastly, I want to mention this tweet as a reminder that manifestation is real. With, quote, karma came earlier than we thought. Her mind, oh my God. Along with these images. I mean... Am I wrong? What a crazy day. But what do you guys think? Are you shocked that the full phone call was finally leaked? And do you think Kim or Kanye will respond? Let me know down in the comments. Then be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can continue to share all the updates with you. And then click over here for a new video. As always, I'm your host, Renee Ariel. Thanks for watching.